Hi, this is Alan Moon with FrontendAudio.com, and here we have the Burson Audio HA160D. And this is the digital version of the HA160, which has been really popular for us um, and really all over the world. Burson Audio is an Australian company that really specializes in um, op amp design and, and, and hi fi home. Uh, audio type of uh, applications and so really with the with the D version this is something that a little more easily crosses over into the professional audio realm um, build quality wise this is something that really surpasses a lot of even professional audio pieces um, a, a couple things is that um, internally uh, power supply wise it's a, it's a class A device um, all discrete um, op amp design uh, throughout so there's no IC chips the only chips you'll see inside of here are the uh, uh, Burr Brown converter chips um, but aside from that that's it it's all discrete components um, and that makes a really big difference um, but power supply wise inside you're going to find that there are two large Hawken transformers in here um, one of them is dedicated to the analog side of the circuit the other is dedicated to the digital converter side um, so they keep those two paths separate there's actually um, beyond the transformers there's actually five different power supplies inside of this uh, basically dedicating uh, from the transformers and the rectification off to different components inside um, so that really helps to keep and maintain clean power and that's one of the things about this device is it is dedicated to creating clean power um, a lot of devices really would rely on an external unit to be able to provide that for them but uh, power supply is something that Burson Audio takes very seriously. Aside from the input switching on this side uh, where you can switch between the three separate analog inputs and then the uh, coaxial which is AES3 compliant it sets signals up to 192 um, and then also the USB input marked U and that accepts signals up to 96K. Um, basically the rest of the front panel is going to be uh, really familiar to folks already familiar with the HA160, uh, the, the standard model. The potentiometer here really is a stepped attenuator, but it's not just stepped, it actually is a discrete stepped attenuator, meaning that it has actual resistors wired in to the circuit path. So it maintains the shortest circuit path possible um, and really as a design, it's, it's expensive to, to create. Um, and it is something that you would find more uh, like in a high-end recording console, uh, like a, an older Neve console, like an 8078, 8068. On the rear of the unit, you're gonna find that you have the coaxial input here. Uh, it's basically SPDIF, but it's AES3 compliant. So it accepts uh, signals up to 192 and the converter will, of course, uh, convert that. Um, the USB input um, has a little bit of a different uh, limitation to it just because of the bandwidth of USB. So you're gonna have it top out at 96K. Um, and then as far as the, the other inputs here, these are, uh, of course, um, unbalanced minus 10 level uh, RCA uh, stereo pairs, just like you'd find on a uh, commercially available um, uh, home audio or hi-fi system. Um, and so you have three different inputs, um, single button switched on the front, and then there's a preamp output. So whatever source you have selected on the front uh, basically is then switched and then sent out of these unbalanced outputs. So this can actually act as a um, uh, just basically a, a, a source preamp uh, for um, a, uh, an amplifier after this. And then lastly, it has international power supplying switch here, uh, fuse compartment, um, standard stuff over here. As you can see, the construction here is bulletproof. This is a six millimeter thick brushed aluminum chassis. The whole thing acts as a heat sink. So it'll get pretty warm on top and so forth. It's not gonna burn you or anything. It's not that hot, but just basically it's like a nice radiating heat. Um, it keeps the, the, the whole unit from, from getting hot inside um, and just really wicks the, the heat away. And I'm just gonna kind of visit the inside of the unit and kind of take you through it. Uh, basically power comes in. Here are the large transformers. Um, also the, the power supply, the rectification stage, and the filter caps, um, big filter caps. I mean, this is really significant when you consider this is a, a headphone amplifier. Um, it's, these are big components for that. Um, and it really, sonically, it, it makes a big difference. The really important thing here that they've realized is the op amp. Um, they've got a classic Burr Brown 
converter chip in here. And there are some other converter chips that, that can maybe do some more um, spectacular things here and there. But overall, in terms of performance and noise, um, the, the Burr Brown chip really does perform. It's, it's a proven design. Um, it's, the, it's the best of all worlds. Ships with a pair of RCA cables for analog input, a USB cable, and a SPDIF or coaxial digital cable. If you have any questions at all about the HA160D or the HA160 from Burson Audio, give us a call here at Frontend Audio. We keep them in stock. They're ready to go. Thanks.